This video will highlight the use of PKG to install software from the ports collection. Users of FreeBSD from before 9.1 may remember having to compile directly from the ports collection. Binary packages offer a much faster method of installing software. We're going to start by booting into the system and logging into a guest user account. I'm going to get admin privileges using SU here. And I'll actually use clear to get rid of all this text. If you've never used PKG before, it will need to be bootstrapped. And this can be done simply by running PKG by itself and accepting to fetch and install. Let's start with a simple PKG install command. Then we're going to follow it with the software we want to download from the ports collection. This can all be done in one line. So I'm going to start with a system tool. I'll put sudo here. Uh, web browser. So let's go ahead and use Firefox. I'm going to use LibreOffice. It's an open source office suite. My current desktop environment is XFCE. So XPDF is an option for reviewing PDFs. And finally, I'm going to wrap up by using the Peril Media Player. All of these can be executed on the same line. It's going to ask for confirmation. And then it will begin fetching and installing the software. This can take some time. Uh, I've sped it up about eight times uh, for ease of viewing. Now that we've installed the software, I'm actually going to boot into my desktop environment and see if the applications are there. Great. Now that we're in the GUI, I'm going to go down and check the Applications menu. Uh, as I scroll down, we can see that there's Firefox, LibreOffice. There's the Peril Media Player. And finally, you can see uh, XPDF down at the bottom. All of these I can launch directly from here in the Applications Finder or from the shell itself. I'll quickly exit the shell to highlight that PKG can also be used to manage binary packages for users and developers and has a wide range of other options. So for example, PKG info, if I run it right here, this gives you information about existing packages on the system. And then there's also a help command if you run into issues with using PKG. So I'm going to run, uh, let's say, PKG check. Obviously, we missed something, so let's use PKG help check. And here it's going to show us the correct flags and options that we had missed. I'll exit out here. And the last one I'm going to go over is the use of PKG auto remove. And this actually goes through and removes unnecessary dependencies. I'm not going to have any since I just installed all of these packages, but it's good to run this once in a while. And that's it. Hopefully this highlights the ease of use of PKG for users who are more used to manually compiling directly from the ports collection.